Hi everyone, in this video we'll be sharing an Excel chart made by Mark Davis. Um, please check out his previous blogs on the site. Um, if you search visualizing or data in Excel in the search bar on the top right hand side you'll be able to find the blogs. Um, so here is just an example of how Mark has used those Excel skills to show us uh, different levels of success with host nations at the Olympics. So what you're seeing now is all worked out from this data here. So you see it's probably worthwhile having a look at Mark's blogs because in those he teaches you how to do some of these things. Okay so it's quite interactive with this whole click here. So I click there and we'll look at USA. So we can see when they first hosted the games there was a drop in their um, number of medals and then there was a drop leading up to their next hosting and then a further drop. Um, so I'm just going to explain uh, what we're seeing here and then it would be good if you guys could discuss some of the points around it. So China, we've got a big lead up to Beijing, a huge difference in performance but then at the recent London 2012 games there's been a drop off in performance. Team GB, we all know we've done brilliantly this year. And as you'll see, there's been a gradual rise up towards the games. Australia, rise towards the games they hosted. Been pretty similar, dropping off recently. Spain, another rise towards it, and then a fall off. South Korea, once again, another rise, then fairly stable from there on. Greece, another rise, and then a drop-off. So looking through all these different points here, we'll see that there's rises and falls. Um, so it'd be good to discuss, is there is there mainly falls after the games? Is there a rise in lead-up to things? So I'll just um, let the video play on for a bit now and have a look at the stats yourself. Okay, so this actual Excel file will be in the members lounge, so contributors you can access it there and have a play and see how things are working. Um, so guys, please feel free to discuss this and once again thanks to Mark Davis for this nice visualisation.